With this strategy, Thomas is up 270% in the last three months. And this isn't some sort of fluke, like he caught one lucky trade. Thomas takes multiple trades a day. This is the result of over 200 trades. You can see his logs. In this video, you're going to learn the best trading strategy ever. And that's not even the best bit. I promise you by the end of it, you'll be trading less and making more money. That's a big promise, right? But I'm going to prove it to you as well with a real trade case study from one of my students that made 270% returns in free months. This isn't just theory. This is real trading that I use, my students use, and you can use as well. If that sounds good, stick around. See, I've been trading crypto now for the last six years. I shared my journey as I learned it and I transitioned into teaching others to do the same. There have been some crazy stories. Some people have managed to turn four or five figures into millions. And those are cool stories, but more importantly, I've been able to teach the average person to make hundreds, maybe even thousands of dollars a day trading crypto and that can change people's lives. If you're interested in these sorts of results and using the strategies I share in today's videos, there are a few things you're going to need. Number one, remember to keep your trading and investing separate. Your long-term holdings, your investment portfolio should not be put on an exchange. Only put what you need to there. Next, most of the strategies I share require the use of leverage. Now, I personally use Femex that offers up to 100X, but normally I don't use more than like 10X leverage. Thirdly, if there are any terms, tools, strategies, things you don't understand in this video and you'd like more in-depth explanations, uh, check out my free course that covers everything in detail. Links to everything will be in the description below. Now, I want you to meet Thomas, also known as T Money. He works a nine to five job and before joining Zero Complexity Trading, he was down 30% on his portfolio. He took on way too much risk, repeatedly got greedy and FOMO'd into trades. Sometimes he'd make money, but it was never really consistent. Does that sound familiar constantly going one step forward two steps back in your trading journey so this is what the average trader does they'll open up a chart and they'll start marking levels you level here support here resistance there we've got another resistance there we've got resistance there you can see data point data point we've got another resistance over here around 25k then we go on to the four hour chart a little bit closer we can see if we can spot anything else here at 20k i see another resistance if you look this level here we've got another resistance and it's confluent with this top point there so there's another level and maybe one last resistance we can see around about over here so that's our levels marked and now we zoom in and we're going to trade well we know resistance price normally goes down so we're going to try sell here and then we're going to try sell here again and if price comes down here again, we'll go for the buy because obviously this is support. Price goes up. We tried to sell here. We failed. We tried to sell here again. We failed. Now we get really frustrated and okay, 20K, big psychological level. This has to work. We're going to go for a big sell there and make some good profit. Price goes up again, smashes through this level. Okay, no worries. We've got another we'll resistance. So we'll sell there. This will flip into support. If it comes down here, we'll buy here. Price goes, never comes down, not really goes back up and smashes through two other resistances and we'd have probably lost a bunch of money. Maybe we buy here because it finally comes back down to support. We look for a trade there. Okay, we got our buy. Price is going up. Okay, hasn't bounced yet. Oh, it's about to bounce. No, failed to buy again. Uh, it's not bouncing. Will it reach this resistance for us to sell? And no, it's come back down. Um, we try buy here, we fail. Try buy here, we fail. And we get confused why this isn't working because uh, we know that we have to sell at resistance and we have to buy at support. I mean, that's how demand and supply works, but we're missing a key piece of the puzzle. See, I'm just showing you support and resistance. Most people's charts look like this. They've got a ton of different indicators. They're trying to figure out when to buy and sell and nothing seems to work, nothing seems to make sense. Now we'll get to the point where everything changed. First thing I want all of you to do is look at your charts and get rid of everything that shouldn't be there. What's happening right now, it's like we're going to the gym and trying to get into shape. We're working out, which is what we're supposed to be doing, that's trading, but when it comes to our diet, instead of just eating whole foods and a lot of protein, relatively healthy, that's all you need. Uh, you are taking a hundred different pills and you're eating this magic fruit from the Amazon and supposed to burn fat. And really all it does is make your skin feel really weird. See, we're going to get rid of the pills that are very expensive and don't really do anything and focus on the fundamentals 
the stuff that's more effective. We're cutting out most of these indicators that we don't need. Even moving averages are a luxury. And again, this is where most people stop. See, it's not just which indicators you get rid of, it's how you use your levels. Right now, we've set a lot of different levels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different levels to be trading throughout this period when we don't need that at all. Let's go back in time over here where we first started and let's tidy up this chart. The thing is, when we set key levels, we need to start on the higher time frames. 90% of the time, if you can't see your key levels on a higher time frame chart, they're not going to be key levels. Really important level here is going to be this 18K level. Look, there's absolutely no levels breaking through this except this one point here. And you can see it very cleanly turn into a resistance as price goes up there. So we've got a really clean key level over here. The next one that I really like is up here at about 21.5K. It acted as a heavy resistance here that the price crashed down off of. That's very important. You don't see much breakage here, one clear deviation, very strong acting as resistance over here, key support level over here, and then two really clean key resistance levels over there. If you compare that to something like, say, this 20K level, while 20K is a key psychological level, look at how disrespected this level was over here. Price was just going up and down through it and not giving it much respect at all. So even though in the recent data, it's pretty important, in the high time frames, this is not going to be a super key level right now. And then finally, we have resistance up here at around 25K. These are going to be our most important levels alongside our support down here actually at around, let's say 16K. You could use absolutely nothing else but these levels and one other strategy that I'll show you in a second to trade these charts. But before we get that, it's still important to go down into the lower time frames because when we get to the four hour, we still can see very important stuff on the charts. For example, I may want to set an alert for when price gets above this level here. While it's not a key resistance, it's a nice round number at around say 17K and it acted as a resistance recently quite a lot and repeatedly. We've got another level over here, acted a lot as a resistance before we had this one big deviation. You can see a small bounce over here and that gives these two levels a bit of significance. Now, we're not trading around these levels because they're not key levels, but we can use them to maybe accumulate a little bit over here in anticipation of the price going up or use these as measures of momentum heading into resistance. There are ways to use these, but they're not key levels that we're trying to trade. So that's the first thing we're doing. The next thing, and I will not stop repeating this message, is you need to know when to trade. The secret to trading less and making more money is identifying the right time to trade. And to do that, you need to understand market structure. Market structure is extremely easy. These are the four things you need. You need to know what higher lows are, higher highs, lower lows, and lower highs. Right now, for the longest time, the market has repeatedly been making lower highs. And quite aggressively, I might add. You can see a repeat pattern. And every time we've tried to break it, we've been led astray because it's been a fake out or a trap and the price has gone straight back down. Then alongside this, we continually get lower lows. However, what you will notice is that the distance between these is slowly getting less and less. That is a sign that the trend is weakening. Not only that, but you're seeing longer periods of consolidation in the middle. Once you see that weakening trend, you're going to be looking for big breaks of these lower highs. So right now, we've gotten rid of all the levels we don't need, and we've identified that this is a key structural level and a key resistance level on the higher time frame charts. So we know if this shifts, market structure starts to shift and we can trade in the direction of the market structure. So pay attention to what happens here. We see price smash through these less important levels here. We can enter small positions, but then we see a big breakout of this level. And if you identified market structure, you'd know our goal isn't to sell here, but if the price gets above, we've got huge distance till the next key level to long because we're playing the breakout here. So we go for a breakout here now that market structure is shifted and we'll do the exact same thing over here. 
See, when Thomas learned to start trading in the direction of the markets, his results changed hugely. He was no longer chasing trades and FOMOing into them. He was let, letting the trades come to him because he knew how to read the markets. And now you can actually apply that same market structure strategy here to know that this level here has broken a bit. It's only one break and we didn't lose this key level here, but if the price fails to break this key level, that is another potentially bearish sign. Look at the levels, the structure, big move here, smaller move here. And now let's pay attention to this move, less big move, struggling with this level. Now it's coming back down. This here shows a shift in the structure of the market. And now it's time to start favoring shorts. And that's how you would have caught a breakdown play here and a breakdown play here as well, because you would have seen that market structure shifting. With this strategy, Thomas is up 270% in the last three months. And this isn't some sort of fluke, like he caught one lucky trade. Thomas takes multiple trades a day. This is the result of over 200 trades. You can see his logs. And he did this all by doing less, not more. And we're going to keep working with him until he hits every single one of his trading and financial goals. It's not easy, but it's possible for every single one of you to make an income trading. And what we share scales with your portfolio as you grow so you can keep making more and more money. You'll go from 100 a day to 200 a day to maybe even $1,000 a day. Now you're welcome to go figure stuff out on your own. It's possible. But if you've been struggling for a while, maybe like Thomas, you just need access to a clear roadmap and some experts that can help you finally start making 100, 200, 500, $1,000 a day, whatever your goals are. If that sounds like you, do check out our paid community. It's been growing so fast that we're actually raising the prices every single month. But if you do join now, I'll guarantee you will stay at whatever price you purchase your membership at, even if the price goes up 10x from where it is right now.